In this demo, I'll show you how you can transform your cloud data warehouse into an end-to-end -end advertising data platform capable of targeting precise audiences, tracking conversions, and measuring the incremental lift of your campaigns. First, let's set up a data source. In this case, we'll use Snowflake as our cloud data provider. Now, every business is different, and the data in your warehouse should reflect those differences. In this example, let's imagine we're trying to grow a mobile subscription app. In this case, we have users modeled in a table, subscriptions, and a number of events to track purchases, app installs, signups, etc. In a few clicks, we were able to define this schema. Our visual audience builder recognizes this schema, allowing us to build really flexible targeted audiences. In this example, let's say we want to retarget churn subscriptions to win them back. All you have to do is select users who have at least one subscription, where the status is canceled and it's lapsed within the last day. From here, we can simply add a sync. Let's choose Facebook, and we'll configure our audience. To send this audience to Facebook, all I need to do is define a few fields. In this case, I'll use the email address. But I know many of my emails aren't going to match back to the Facebook platform. To increase my reach, with the click of a button, I can enable Match Booster, which will add third-party emails, mobile ad ideas, and phone numbers to increase my match rate and ultimately my reach on Facebook. Finally, I'll click Continue. And in a few seconds, I have a churn subscription audience ready to go on Facebook for me to launch my next campaign. But how are we going to know if this campaign is truly working? How do we know that the ads we're showing are driving true incremental revenue? To figure that out, let's go back to our churn subscription audience and add a holdout group. Here, we're going to add a 20% holdout, not showing ads to 20% of the people in this audience and logging them in our cloud data warehouse for further analysis. And 80% of the people in this group will still be synced to Facebook to show those ads. Now, after running these ads for a few weeks, we can go to our campaign intelligence tab and we can see the results of this experiment. It looks like the holdout group has a little over 100,000 conversions, while the treatment group has an additional 11% in conversions. It looks like this campaign was a success, but I should modify my budget and my bidding to account for this 11% lift. I may want to experiment with more personalization. Perhaps one of the user attributes will help me personalize my experience, increase conversion rates, and drive more revenue. And doing that is really easy. All I need to do is create an audience, create a split, and sync the data to my paid media platforms. If you're interested in learning how HighTouch can transform your cloud data warehouse into a targeting, tracking, and measurement tool, contact us today.